welcome back so in our selenium 4 series uh, today we are going to see how we can emulate the network conditions so in our previous session we have seen how we can mock the geolocation or the time zones and uh, what is the benefit of using those uh, mockings the same thing we will kind of a uh, mock or emulate the network conditions in terms of like uh, how can you block certain network and speed and uh, how will you measure the loading time and this will be basically helpful for you to uh, to validate uh, how your application is reacting and how much time it takes when you uh, use different networks because sometimes people might use their mobile network uh, network or else they might use the Wi-Fi or else sometimes they will have a low bandwidth so in that situation how exactly your application is uh, responding that is what the selenium 4 is giving us an option okay and we will even see how can you block certain resources on your application uh, we have in one of our session we have seen how we can uh, kind of block a particular resource like some CSS file or a particular image or certain ads on your application you will block and see how your application look and feel is so those are the kind of uh, what you call features selenium provides to automate that and this is what we are going to see today okay so let me switch over to the my IntelliJ and here what I will do I will add a new Java class and name something like uh, uh, emulate network conditions some name I'm giving and let me add to the github okay and here what we are going to do we will be using the chrome driver as usual so what i will do i will make it as web driver manager and let me do one thing so let me copy paste i have already that okay so i have imported all the details those are required here mostly the dev tools stuff here so let's do one thing so let's go one by one so if you see here these are pretty much understandable and i'm creating a session to connect to the network tab and then here we are using the dev tools dot send so this dev tools is basically coming from here get dev tools method and network dot enable and we have already seen in one of our session and as you can see the parameters are max total buffer size max resource buffer size and max post data size and I'm giving the rest two of the parameters as empty optional empty and this one I'm giving as one triple O okay sorry six hours one million and then what i'm doing here and uh, we are emulating the network condition right so after enabling the network after that we are using a method that the network exposes is the emulate network conditions and this accepts few of the parameters now if i put control space you can see it is taking so many parameters so first one is offline offline means if you are making this as true then what this will do your uh, net uh, your browser will be running on the offline mode okay and after that latency some value I'm giving the same thing download throughput and some value I'm giving let me again go back here and then oops okay so throughput and then so it is download throughput and then upload throughput and the connection type if you see the connection type here we are using optional of connection type edge cellular 2g but if i delete this one and put a dot you can see it is giving me so many options like if you are connected to as a in ethernet as a cellular 3g ethernet and 4g 2g so any one of these connections you can use here to test your application so at this moment let's keep that as a cellular 3g and after this what and even you can change the download and upload speed as well okay to see how your application is reacting and leave about this comment part we will see next uh, after some time and here i am just keeping a start time and this will be uh, uh, taking my system current time and then after that i am trying to load my application and then once it is completely loaded we know once the page is loaded then only the cursor will go to the next line of execution so that's where i'm taking the time again 
to keep that as a end time and I'm saying the page loaded in end time minus start time so that will give me the actual time taken to load my application so based on different conditions like the download throughput upload throughput and the connection type combination of these three the application will vary the time to load that and depending on your requirement whatever the requirement is there you can just change these parameters and see or observe how your application is loading so for now it's pretty straightforward so the only thing that we are uh, seeing new is this one the emulate network condition with these parameters so at this moment uh, let me do one thing let's go with uh, a less load so cellular and let me go with the 2g okay and then let me run this test okay so let's see how much time it took okay so as you can see the page loaded in this millisecond 8878 millisecond and this is on the cellular 2g now let's try to see uh, let me clean the chrome browser and then let me try to use some other bandwidth or some other network type and this time let me make it as 4g okay so it is around 8878 right now let's see with 4g how much time it is taking okay so now let's see with 4g how much time it is taking okay so as you can see the time taken is 7827 so before it was coming around something 8000 millisecond right now it is coming around 7727 so which now it reduced the time of loading because the network type now we are giving a good bandwidth so at this moment we have seen everything by making this offline edge false right it means that we are making it as a online okay now let's make it as true so true means it will now run with a uh, offline mode okay so before to that let me do one thing so here what i'm doing i'm loading the web application here and then i'm making it as offline and then again i'm trying to load this one so at this moment let me uncomment this one where offline situation this one right so let me just uh, make a import static method make sure that you are making this one selenium dev tools network dot network loading field you have to import this one and then this has to come from the test ng okay i can do one thing assure dot asset equals and then this has to be from test ng annotation okay and now what this will do so this is again one more feature where you can add to the uh, i mean you can uh, add the listeners so that you can see what kind of uh, network uh, what do you call you can monitor the network actually whatever it is coming so because it is offline is it true so we are going to see few of the error text from this loading field because uh, when it is offline your application will not load at all right so that's where we are using this particular loading failed uh, so this is a stream java stream and here if you see this object exposes a method that is uh, get error text method and by taking that and if you see when a uh, internet is offline on your browser it will return this particular uh, what do you call string actually this one for a offline message so that is what i'm going to assert it to make sure that the browser is really offline okay so with offline true let's run this one and it doesn't matter whatever the connection you are giving here because we are testing the absolute negative scenario here okay so let me again run this one so first it will load as a online okay and you can see it disconnected and you can see it is giving me an error message here and then probably it will fail my test yes as expected 
and if you see here but it is not uh, but it's not uh, failed with the assertion if you see at the end you can see the message it printed here what message i'm giving here okay so the, because i uh, see on the offline i'm loading this one that is the only reason it failed but it didn't fail on this condition it really returned the loading failed message and then it printed here as you can see here okay and the assertion also become passed here so that's how because you will see your application is really uh, working how it is reacting with this what kind of error message it is showing those kind of things you can even do a uh, validation so including your ui end-to-end uh, -end testing these things are also now become more important and it is one of the automation qa folks responsibility to even see how your application changes or reacts based on the new releases that you are getting so that you need not to every time uh, switch off your internet and check it you can just re run this particular piece of code and you are done with that even what you can do you can make a utility method and then uh, call this method wherever you need okay so uh, that's pretty much about uh, this what you call emulate the network conditions so the next thing that we are going to see is how we can intercept the network it means that how we can block certain uh, what you call certain resources resources are nothing but your uh, images or CSS files or else any specific media files so those things no normally what happens on the dashboard related applications sometimes few of the options the users will by knowing they will be removed moving from the application because you can customize the home screen you can customize the dashboard so at that time by using this selenium 4 feature we can even see if a particular resource is blocked how exactly your application looks like so you can see this particular application has few of the images and then these are all nothing but css files right that is causing all this layout look and feel and everything so if we will block certain resources like all these images then how does my application will look like if a CSS if I'm blocking a spe specific CSS then how exactly this will look like it will be like a completely plain text and no arrangements that is what we are going to see so for this let me do one thing let me create another class here and then I will say inet intercept some name I'm giving and let me add this one to git repository okay so let me copy paste the code that what i have okay so here is my code base and it is pretty much the first few lines are exactly same as we have discussed in the previous uh, just previous example okay so i'm not going to again repeat the same thing and here is something that we are interested okay on the dev tools and dev tools is ex uh, exposing a send method and this accepts the network uh, what do you call the network objects i will be showing you a few of the network objects that we can use like in our previous example we have seen like if you see here network dot emulate network conditions here is something new network dot set blocked urls so these things you will be seeing uh, so if i go to this one this particular link and this is coming from the web to uh, chrome drive uh, chrome dev tools site so as you can see here in the chrome dev tools dot git of io they have all the methods uh, network methods clear browser cache you can clear that uh, you can delete all the cookies and then here you can see network dot um, emulate network conditions and then there is something set user agent override so this is one of the method where you can user agents are nothing but like the uh, what do you call the layout of your uh, layout or the size and width of your uh, what do you call browser your window based on you can make it to a mobile view a tablet view so you have to give you up the user agent parameters and then you can use this uh, method as a set user agent override and so that it will emulate that particular device on your application i mean on the browser okay and then you have uh, set blocked urls and these are all experimentals and selenium 4 basically taken those things and then uh, kind of uh, put into the selenium 4 release and you can see few of them even got deprecated so 
I mean based on the deprecation and experimental tag you can just use them as it as you need okay so set blocked URLs is something we are interested at this moment now let's see what exactly this is giving me so this gives me a list of strings URLs so this is nothing but because I said few of the resources we can block now where is where exactly these resources are there on my application server right so if you whatever you have seen the uh, images or the CSS those are on the application server so here at this moment uh, I am taking two resources at the same time because uh, even it can accept the list so that's why I am giving two options one is the PNG so any PNG on the application will block it so that will not allow on the network so you cannot see those PNG files so dot PNG means whatever the PNG files on my application server will be blocked CSS files whatever CSS even you can specific CSS let's say that if you have index 1 index 2 index 3 three different CSS files are there then you can block a specific CSS file from there but here I'm giving everything all together I'm giving so you can use this one here if you see this comment let me uncomment this one so you can see properly so even any specific resources you can use that let's say you have a few of the JavaScript files are there and you know a specific JavaScript you can block those things or else if any specific media files let's say in your application there are few uh, what do you call mp4 uh, files are embedded now let's say somebody is not opting those mp4 files or the video files then you can block that by using this set blocked urls and see how your application looks like so just for a, re a refreshment let me just open my website again so if you see this is the actual website how it looks like without blocking anything so if you see this is something looks like without blocking now let's see if I block these resources and before moving before running this one if you see uh, let me do or else one thing the same thing how we have done I can do one thing I can just first load so that you can do a visualization of how it looks like and here I have put two conditions so these are nothing but like as you would have seen right in our uh, previous example we have uh, used this loading field and this is nothing but a network loading field so there the net uh, internet was offline here specific resources that's why I'm making it as loading field dot get type I'm getting what kind of resource is getting uh, failed dot equals resource type is again a object and this exposes one of the property that is style sheet is nothing but CSS and then PNG is nothing but image instead of PNG you can even say that uh, IMG or uh, any other uh, image format and here if it is equal I want to assert that by using this inspector so if it is coming if that uh, loading field resource is giving me a block type of inspector then it means that that particular resources are blocked and even I can take a screenshot and at the end of the execution I can even see after blocking these resources how exactly your application looks like okay so let me run this oh, let me so first it will load without blocking anything okay now it will block the images and CSS files see it is complete text format only you can see all the images are blocked and no CSS that's why the arrangement is completely lost and it is giving like a, a plain HTML uh, page only you can see everything and then it closed so that's how you can see by using different blocking resources and uh, see how exactly your application is reacting to those uh, blocked resources okay so that's pretty much about the internet uh, I mean the network and you can really visit to this particular site and see what and all uh, what do you call network related methods are available and you can play with that like cookies we have seen user agents we have seen so you can just uh, use those things and then see how exactly your application reacts okay so that's it for today and uh, stay tuned we will be seeing uh, some more selenium 4 features in our upcoming sessions and do subscribe to this youtube channel if you haven't thank you for watching